Hi guys, it's Lily. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and today I have for you a mini thrift haul. Um, been quite busy the last week or two. So I haven't been really making any videos, but uh, a couple of you are missing me. Just a couple. So I decided to take a quick run to the thrift store and see if I can find anything worth sewing. Um, and at the end of the video, I want to talk to you about a little bit about J. Crew and um, what some of us are missing out on because I discovered something last week and um, just want to share it with you. Um, so anyway, so I didn't get a whole lot. I think I spent fifty dollars, and it wasn't ninety nine cent sale. I got a couple half off. And uh, the rest of it I get 15% off. So I don't even have my receipt in here. I am like totally unprepared. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, so I got 13 items for $50. So that's, you know, that's a little over $4 cost of goods, which is. You know, high for me, uh, but still okay considering the things that I got. So um, I'll start with the small stuff first. Um, this first item I got was a Maui Gym uh, sunglass case, perfect condition. A uh, dollar ninety nine is what I paid for that. I don't have Maui Gym glasses, but glasses with the case it goes up upwards $150, $200. The case is not so much, I think. I am I saw them 10 to $40. So I'm just thinking I get sunglasses all the time without cases. So if I needed a case, um, I would just use that one or sell it. I don't know. And I got this Franco Sardo wallet and it's not going to bring a lot either. It's got the zip in the back. It's in excellent condition. It's a cute interior. Um, but yeah, just a, you know, my kind of wallet. But, you know, it's got the numbers and everything. But, you know, I'm seeing them going for about $10, $10 on Poshmark. So I don't know if I'll sell it or gift it. I'm not really sure about that. And this also, they're only, this is like for men, J. Crew, uh, American Crew, not J. Crew, American Crew. It's just a, like a toiletry bag, shaving bag, zip out bottom, zip top. It was brand new, so I got it because I sent my daughter in law out yesterday, finally. A big box of uh, baby clothes and of course I had bought her a coach purse and a coach wallet and a coach watch so I sent out a really big box ye yesterday to her because the baby is due 22nd is her due date which is the day I'll be traveling to go to the seminar and they're going to induce her on that day because it's 40 weeks. So I don't, don't usually they wait a week at least or a few days, but they're going to induce her that day. So anyway, I forgot to send my son's soap in her box. So I'm going to put them in this little bag and I'm going to ship it off tomorrow so that he'll get his stuff too. Poor guy. He's kind of being left out. It's all about the babies and the women. All right, now for the fun stuff. And I did this because... I haven't listed at all, hardly at all, this week because I've been super busy organizing my soap room, my inventory room, and I am going to bring a video in the next couple days showing you my inventory room, where I do my photographing, where I do keep my uh, soaps that are curing and, and the soaps that are getting ready to go out that's ordered. Um, but I'm going to bring that to you in a couple, couple days probably because it's, it's done, but that's why I'm not been on here because I'm going to be gone for two weeks 
my closet's going to be on vacation hold, which means no sales. And I wanted to be able to come back from vacation. Part of it's a vacation. It's a working vacation. Um, and hit the ground running. And now everything's organized, so I know where to find everything. So it'll be easy to just grab and pull and list. And uh, hopefully I'll get back in the swing of things when this is all over with. So anyway, all right. I found these cute, cute, cute Brighton loafers. They're leather crock print, I believe. And they are called Melody in a size 6. These are selling for between thirty and fifty-five dollars, and these are these are new. They have never been worn, so I thought that was a good deal. And then I got plugs. Never heard of this before, but I pulled them up, and these also have not been worn. Um, they're just foldable ballet flats, um, and these. They're selling for between 25 and 40. These are size 7. So, you know, I'm going to try them on because I'm all about comfort. So, if they fit me, I'm going to keep them. If not, um, I'll list them somewhere between 25 and 40 dollars. And I got to laugh about these because I talk about them every time I get a designer box from ThreadUp. I found Via Spigas. $5.99, but red tag was half off today, so I got these for $3. They're the purple suede uh, kitten heel loafers with sequin toes. And these are currently on Trade Z for $76. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to price them at. They're size 8. And I'm probably going to price them at, I mean, they don't have a whole lot of wear. I mean, they've got some wear. They have obviously been worn, but they're still in excellent condition. Um, just a pale lilac color. Um, 76 on Tradesy. I don't know. I'll probably list them for between 40 and 55 And all these will be listed. Before I go to bed tonight, because I haven't been listing. I've been bad. I've been very bad. So my sales plummeted this week, which was not cool. But I knew it was going to happen, because I can't do everything. Alright. I normally do not pick up Vince Camuto shoes. But these leather suede heels are very unique. Very pretty. They were in really good condition. And they are currently listed listed and sold um, I'm listing these for 65 normally I wouldn't pick up Vince Camuto because I can't sell them for a decent price um, but these are unusual so I think they'll they'll go well and then Cole Haan Isabella loafers check these out they are so they still have the original price tag on them of $185 um, they're in excellent condition. Size 6B, so average. Um, and, you know, baby, Cole Haan. Beautiful condition. Um, so I'm probably going to list these for between 75 and 80 Mind you, I spent $50 today. And I haven't shown you the purses yet. <laughs> I can't need any more purses with my death pile, which you will see in my inventory video. Alright, so I have more than tripled, quadrupled what I spent already. Alright, here we have a Isabella Fior snakeskin leather handbag. And it's got this magnetic close here. Um, beautiful condition. I tried to pick things that I didn't have to do any work to because I don't have time to do any work this week before I leave. Got a really heavy duty chain. Um, there's the back. There's the front. All it needs is a little wipe down. Um, but this 
this was a good spot. <coughs> this is going to get listed between 75 and 150. I don't know yet. I need to research it a little bit more. But for this style, um, because the prices are all over the place, for the most part, they're uh, over 75. There's a few stragglers that are lower, but for this specific style, um, they're between 75 and 150. So that's where that one's going. <laughs> and look what I got. I got a long chomp bag and it's in excellent condition except obviously our little corner issues now these are very mild very mild tears in the corners um oh, i got a couple hotel keys with this one too renaissance hotels there's there's a couple hotel key cards in here um, anyway, even the inside's in beautiful condition, and yes, it is authentic. I checked before I bought it because I have um, gotten fakes in my thread up designer boxes. Well, this one's not fake, and I spent five dollars and forty cents for it. So uh, this will go anywhere from twenty-five to forty. It is the medium one. It's not the small one, and it's not the big one. It's the medium one, but it's in excellent condition other than just minor issues on the corners. So I got that. And I tell you what, I'm going to start going on Fridays because I think it was packed today. And it's never packed when I go. And I don't think I've ever gone on a Friday. Uh, anyway, while I was there, you know, I had just gone stroll through the purses a little bit. And... Um, tons and tons of purses and you know mostly junk I think I had found this one the Isabella Fior I think I found this one on the regular rack and then so while I was there an employee rolled out two racks of purses and I turned around and I went to to look at one and this lady came and just started grabbing all the purses she could find just visually just grabbing and throw them in her basket and then she went off to the side uh, to look at them all now I don't know if she put any back or not but I at this point I was pissed it's like really I mean she's grabbing in front of me and all that stuff so whatever anyway she totally overlooked the long chomp bag and uh, so I, I grabbed it And also, there were, I cannot pronounce this, Wayne Beige. Can you see that? Anyway, there was three of these. These are selling in the $40 range. Um, I only got, I picked up two of them because one of them didn't have the tassels that goes on the zipper pull. So I just grabbed the two that had a tassel, um, but they're in beautiful condition. I don't think they've ever been used, to be honest. They've got a couple, they've got a zipper compartment on the side, a compartment, a zipper compartment in the middle, another compartment, and then a couple slide-in pockets. So these are going for about around 40, 40-ish. 40 and I got two, I got the brown one here. And I got this really pretty red one. So, um, and this has got its own little tassels here already. That's where it goes on the zipper pull. Same exact one. And there was three, but like I said, I only got two because the third one didn't have the tassels. So those will get listed for probably 40. Now the kicker. And I don't think it's authentic. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm going to do a little bit more research. It smells like leather. Um, but the hardware is cheap. It feels cheap to me. And I can't find a serial number. So. But it is a gorgeous bag. There we go. 
and it is this is I believe it's lambskin it smells like leather it smells like high quality leather this chain is very heavy with the leather and woven it's got an outside zipper there is no no tags nowhere except for made in China so and it, I don't know if you can see this it zips like that and it zips all the way off and open so uh, the only other identifying mark in the bag is that so yeah I'm thinking I'm thinking somebody just stuck that on there, to be honest. But, you know, obviously I'm not going to sell an, an unauthentic item. Um, I may carry it for a while because it has an outside pocket. And I have to have an outside pocket for my phone. That's, I'm real picky about that. Or, when my daughter sees it, she's going to want it. And since I'm driving that way, she may get it. It does have some where on the corners on three of the corners yeah but other than that there's nothing wrong with it but you know again I don't think it is authentic but it's a, still a beautiful bag it's quilted uh, even the quilting the thread I don't know if you can see it it looks like it's thread but that's actual leather sewn in, in in a quilted pattern but like I said I don't think it's authentic but I still think it was a great find because I think my daughter would love to have it regardless of whether it's worth five thousand dollars or it's worth the five seven ninety nine I paid for it seven ninety nine minus fifteen percent whatever it was worth it to me if it makes her happy so anyway that was my thrift haul I didn't have time to go thrifting today, and it's 45 minutes away from here, so it spent, took me most of the day, but um, we've been working so hard around the house here trying to get me organized so that I can come back and not worry about anything but uh, getting back to work. Um, so it was worth it. Like I said, my sales hit bottom this week because I wasn't listing every day, so I'm going to start... I'm going to make sure all this gets listed tonight before I go to bed and try to stay on track over the next few days because I'm putting my closet on vacation hold as of Thursday, um, I'm guessing around 2 o'clock Thursday afternoon, so anything, all my orders can be shipped because I'm leaving Friday morning at about 4 a.m., so no time for shipping. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. I think it was a pretty good haul considering I paid $50 and I've got, I should have added it up because there's a good, a good minimum $400 here once it all potentially sells. All right, so let's talk about J. Crew. I, you know, we all get a lot of J. Crew in our thread up jewelry boxes whether it be the DIY boxes or the 15 piece sometimes we get them in the Goodwill blue boxes well you know I list it all and you know we're all listing them for you know somewhere between 15 to say 20 to 28 dollars something like that well I noticed last week I think it was last week. All of a sudden, I had a surge in a certain type of J. Crew jewelry, and you know they're lowballing me. I sold a pair of earrings for fourteen dollars, and that's the one that triggered me uh, when she got them and her comment uh, to me. Um, that's what triggered me to start really looking at the J. Crew jewelry for sale on eBay and on Poshmark. There is like two different worlds of J. Crew. 
you've got your J. Crew statement necklaces that are made with enamel or plastic and still beautiful. Uh, and then you have your J. Crew crystal jewelry that is not marked any differently. Um, and I sold a couple pieces, like those earrings, I sold them for $14 and they were worth over $75. I sold a statement necklace for $20 and it was worth over, I could have listed it, listed it for $150 and one sold for $140, exactly like the one I sold for $20. So all I'm saying is check your J. Crew. Um, if it's crystals, you know, and not enamel or, or, you know, acrylic, plastic, whatever, you're losing a lot of money. So I am pulling all of my J. Crew. Um, I got a really low ball offer today. And you know, I always look at everybody's closet when they send me an offer, especially if it's a low ball offer. And I be damned this woman. I tell you what, tons of J. Crew in her closet and not one of them was under $75 and it was a lot of the stuff mimics some of the stuff I have so I have put some not for sale um, and I'm going to deal with it when I get back because they're worth a lot more than what I'm selling it for and I know there's probably several of you out there that don't don't know this either you know I'm not a jewelry pro that's not my expertise but I should have known I should have known and I didn't know and so I hope you look at your pieces and you see the difference in them and price them accordingly because if you don't it's just gonna screw up the whole mechanics of um, what everything is worth and what people can sell their stuff for and so I was really upset because I lost like a ton of money in the last couple of weeks on some J. Crew jewelry that I sold that I priced way, way too low. So just check your stuff. Um, just check your stuff. I don't know what to say other than check your stuff because you're losing a lot of money. I lost a lot of money, um, potential money. Um, but yeah, and they're selling. Look, look. Pull up in Poshmark J. Crew Crystal Jewelry and then click over to the solds and look what it's selling for and then look through your closet or what you maybe haven't listed yet and and compare your stuff before you list it for way too low because then you have these scavengers out here like the one that came after me this morning. Um, I hit that decline button so fast so I could take it off of my Poshmark. I took it totally off because... I'm not going to let her have it. Mm -mm. I don't do that. And I don't like people to do that to me. So, anyway, I hope I hope that helps somebody. It sure helped me when I figured it out. A little too late, but I figured it out. Alright, so next video I'm going to have for you is going to be <laughs> just a little mini tour of how I inventory my stuff. Uh, however boring that may be, I'm proud that I'm organized, pretty much, 90%, 90%. There might still be a pile here and there, but it's not in my living room anymore. Um, and I've got it all separated for the most part. I do have some thread up stuff in here, but it's in boxes and it's stacked neatly. But the rest of my inventory is in a whole other room. I don't have any inventory in my living room anymore. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy. I'm tired. I'm tired, <laughs> but I'm happy. I'm exhausted. We've been working very hard. So, um, yeah. Glad I was able to at least bring you a little, little thrift haul. And thank you to those of you that reached out to me and told me, make sure I was okay because I hadn't been posting videos and it's, you know, because I, I haven't been ordering anything. I'm just saving everything I have for going without a paycheck for about three weeks. 
because um, it scares me. So I've not ordered any more boxes. Uh, I'm not going to till I get back. I don't mind doing many thrift hauls, and I'm probably going to thrift along my travels. So you will see me. I will post things here and there. Maybe I'm going to try to post a little bit of the seminar that I'm teaching at. Um, I just got to be very careful because we don't like to photograph the dogs working for court purposes because we get called to be expert witnesses in homicides and things like that and we don't need anybody being able to pull any video from our dogs working and you know how that goes. We don't want a criminal to walk so um, if I can do it from afar um, I, I'm gonna try to do some of that without being you know pinpointing in on anyone in their in their dog so we'll see how that goes I'll try that's, that's all I can say is I'll try and then of course I'm gonna thrift and of course I have a new grandbaby coming so I'll be bringing stuff a little bit here and there and then I will get back on it back on that train when I get back on the 8th I'll be back on the 8th of November but I, I will still post videos here and there this just won't be so much just like the last couple weeks haven't been Am I watching other resellers? Yes. The past four days, not so much because I haven't had a break. I haven't had a time to sit down and actually watch TV. Uh, but I will catch up. Normally I let your channels roll all day long in my house, but I have company. They're helping me. They don't particularly like to watch the same things I watch. So I haven't been doing that. Um, when I come in my office to pack up orders, I will turn this TV on, I'll stream it to this TV and watch while I'm packing my orders and getting them ready to ship out. Other than that, I have not been on YouTube and I apologize because I love watching all of you and I will catch up. I have tried to answer all the comments because I get email alerts, um, but I may have missed a few, but I will catch up on those too. So I appreciate those of you that are still hanging in there with me. Um, I'm not gone, I'm just, you know, life happens and I know you understand that and I hope that you're patient and you stick with me because I did lose some subscribers um, from not posting I'm assuming so I was a little bummed and uh, my friend Clarissa cheered me up and says don't worry about it take care of you take care of your home and it'll all work out so that's what I'm banking on it's all gonna work out and one other thing I will have a Another salt soap gift set and some wax melts and probably offer all the other sets for sale at subscriber prices again early on in the week. My company is leaving Sunday and I'll be able to focus a little bit more on that. So I'll be doing that before I leave on my trip also. And... I don't know, maybe one more video, a surprise video that I can't tell you about um, right before I leave. So, I don't know. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Check all your J Crew. Uh, let me know how you like the haul, what you like best out of my little mini haul. I had my company with me, so I was rushed. I didn't get to focus real well, but it's okay. I think I still did good. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. Lily out.